Hello, my beautiful souls. I am the Awakened Dreamer, and I'm here to give you your daily tarot reading for Thursday, December the 17th. And I do want to, of course, take this moment, as always, to say thank you so much for all of your uh, comments, likes, and subscriptions if you're new to the channel. And I uh, meditated, of course, on the energy overall for the day uh, before beginning the reading. And the message that came through was another day to succeed another day to succeed. And I feel like it's going to be a very focused day and very rewarding at the same time. So let's get started. Let's first pull a message or two from the Spellcasting Oracle deck. Let's do some shuffling this way first. One more. Alrighty, Spirit, what do we have for uh, to begin this daily read? Ooh, for Thursday, the 17th of December. As we make our way to the end of the year. What else do we have, Spirit? Keep them coming. Anything else? Use the dog in the background uh, for the 17th for Thursday. Thank you, Spirit. I think we have another one or two. Ooh. Just flew out. The first one that was out, closure. There's a situation that I feel will pop up in your mind, in your head, uh, at some point throughout this uh, Thursday, and uh, it is a situation that is in need of closure, or where you desire, or somebody else desires closure. And I almost feel like sometimes uh, this lack of closure in a situation involving at the very least one other person blocks the flow of uh, blessings from the universe from coming your way and then uh, forgiveness directly related it is a day or moving forward at the very least where um, you need to forgive somebody or accept forgiveness in one way shape or form again in order to accept the blessings that are wanting to come your way And then we have transformation. This has been popping out in, in a few of the recent daily reads. We, like I've been saying, each individually are going through our own version of a transformation. You know, whether it's in certain areas of our lives or just our life in general or just ourself on a soul level. And it feels like we're getting ready to spread our wings and fly. And uh, fertility. It feels like we're each giving birth to something that is special to us. We're getting ready to, whether it's a business or a project, or um, it feels like something where we can get our voice out there or kind of put our stamp on this life that we've been given. Interesting. And then we have prosperity for the fifth one. The hefty start. Very nice. I was just watching a tarot reading on uh, YouTube and I was thinking about the prosperity card that came out in the deck that they had used. But yeah, it just feels like you're in the midst of working towards something that's going to be so fruitful, so uh, abundant. And it's going to make you feel so happy at the same time. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is helping other people in one way, shape, or form. I just feel like it, it makes you, it helps you glow on a different level. It makes you want to dance. I kept, when I was getting ready for this reading, I kept getting drawn to um, the imagery on this Everyday Witch Tarot, which is why I ended up deciding to use it. 
and I was being drawn to the music symbols and the way she was kind of marching to the beat of her own drum and um, a very kind of dancing feeling. And then we have this card that pops out to start off the reading. It just feels like it is a day where you'll just kind of be dancing and happy uh, about your success uh, with whatever it is you've been putting a lot of your energy into. All right, let's continue and do some shuffling so we can pull four tarot cards for the day. And like I said, I'm using the Everyday Witch Tarot because I was drawn to it. One shuffle. Alrighty, sir. What do we have to continue this daily read for Thursday the 17th of December? <clears throat> we got all four. Ooh, two aces. All right, so we start off with the Page of Wands for the first of the four cards. So the day starts off with you feeling um, very much uh, in a fresh mindset, like things are starting fresh in one area of your life. It may feel like even though you've been working on a business for a while, it still feels like you're almost starting fresh with it in one way, shape, or form. Maybe you've made changes to it recently, or, you know, that could also go for your living situation or, you know, things in your home life, it could be with your relationships, it's going to be different for everybody, because this is general, let's not forget, but it just feels like you feel like something that has been in your life for a bit for a lot of you is uh, sort of starting fresh in one way, shape or form. And it, it I feel like it does come, it, it can be a bit confusing at times. I can relate. And it's side by side with this transformation card. And I, I feel like this is Part of why we're drawn to this video, you need a reminder that <clears throat> these changes, you know, going through this uh, transformation when it comes to that area of your life or your life as a whole um, is part of your version of a transformation. It's part of what you're meant to be going through. You know, it's part of why you, it's tied in somehow to everything you've been through up until this point. It's a good reminder. And then we're moving on to the death card. It's the end of uh, letting yourself expect the worst. Wow. Because, I mean, like the overall message says, another day to succeed. It, it just feels like you go into it feeling fresh and feeling, you know, willing to adapt to the way things are moving forward instead of the way things were. And you are rewarded, you know, given it is a rewarding day uh, with nothing but success and different forms of abundance. It, it just feels like you in the past have expected the worst or expected things to not pan out or work out because a lot of the times that's kind of how it, it ended up being. But it just feels like things are changing in that sense. It's the end of expecting the worst and that's kind of the purpose of the way this day pans out. Uh, it was kind of spirit in the universe's plan, if you will, in order to kind of prove to you that moving forward you can expect things to work out. You know, can expect nothing but success and abundance. Moving on to the second half of the spread slash day, we have the Ace of Wands. You remember I told you the second half of the spread is just aces. And it feels like things are just changing right before your eyes. Things, you know, whether again, it's with one area of your life, whether it's your job, your home life, or it just feels like things are changing magically before your eyes and you just kind of have to it may shock you at times, you know, especially at this point in the day, it may uh, feel a bit abrupt. But again, it's also now coming through as these, this is all of the successes that you have come in your way. And it's almost like something you've been working on or working towards uh, for a while now just kind of explodes with a just a, a big amount of uh, 
success and it just it kind of takes you by surprise wow it's lined with this page of wands and it's directly because of the fresh mindset the fresh approach the willingness that you've um taken to be flexible to allow for things to just kind of unravel the way they need to move forward with whatever it is again that it is for you wow and it's side by side with this prosperity card how perfect and you're naturally just getting all of this prosperity this abundance this success that we've been talking about because um you're allowing for things to, to change and, and be different than you're used to you're stepping out of your comfort zone willingly and it's going to take you by surprise It just feels like a reminder throughout the day consistently in different ways that whatever you've been working towards is going to be nothing but successful. That just is a consistent message throughout this reading. And then the Ace of Cups to finish off. And I mean, the Ace of Cups is all about fresh starts and beginnings. And um, I mean, the Ace of Cups, it just is talking about how your day ends with you feeling nothing but abundant, feeling like your cup is overflowing, feeling like your life is uh, filled with a sense of magic, which I feel like you've been lacking recently. And it's aligned with this death card and it's a direct result, this abundance, this magic, all the, this good feeling. You can see that at ease look in her face. That's exactly how you're going to be feeling when the day finishes. And that's because you're no longer allowing for yourself to expect the worst or to sort of see things already kind of falling apart before they do changing your habits, if you will. And so let's finish off. I'm going to actually do this differently today or for this reading. We're going to pull a message or two from the Angel Answers deck, which I haven't used yet. It's new to me. To finish off this reading for Thursday. Ooh, I love it. Perfect. We got perfect timing at the bottom of the deck, my friend. And the one that popped out was success absolutely amazing and perfect way to end this reading and with that said and done i once again more than appreciate your likes comments and subscriptions and i uh, hope this reading was truly helpful uh, more importantly i hope you have the most amazing thursday and i'll see you next time bye